All right, so the pencil tool is basically the scissors that you can use to cut out your shapes and then recut them out. And the only thing you need to know when you're using the pencil tool is that you have to start on the path and end on the path if you want to redraw it. So if I start on the path and then carefully end on the path, it will redraw it. And if I want to use, if I want to smooth it out, I use the smooth tool and I kind of redraw it again just to show what areas need to be smoother. Now it can be labor intensive, just like having scissors and paper, but you can get really nice control <coughs> of your shapes and your curves that way. But there's another tool that's very common and helpful and was kind of the first drawing tool in Illustrator, which is made for really simplifying these curves. And it's really up to you to kind of try them both and see what you want to use. Now the nice thing about putting my sketch on one layer and then doing all my vectors on the layer above is that I can turn it off and on. So, so far, this is what I have a nice, clean, filled-in path. And what's great about having it as a path is that any time I can just select it and I can change it to being a, an outline. Okay, so I've done my first path on my sketch. I used the pencil tool to do it. It worked well. That's an approach I could use for the rest of it. I'm going to save it there. And I'm going to save it as my assignment six vector, black and white. Because first we're going to design it just in black and white as an AI file. Because we're working in Illustrator to the desktop. Keep all the defaults. Okay, the other tool I can use, and I'm not going to create a new layer for this, but it's like the pencil tool, but it's a little bit less direct to use, but you can have more control in some ways. It's the pen tool. The pen tool, you plot anchor points. So every time I click, I'll be making an anchor, one of these little squares. I'm going to start here at the tip. And then I plot my next anchor. And I want it to be at the end of my first curve. Now, if I just click, it will make a straight line. But if I want it to be a curve, I click and then drag, and it will give me what's called a Bezier curve. This is, the, this is the pen tool? This is the pen tool I'm using now. Now, when I let go of that Bezier curve, notice how it will fill on one side of it, but maybe not the side you want. So it takes some getting used to. So what I'm going to do is start with that anchor, bend out a Bezier curve here, bend out another Bezier curve here. This is a tool that really infuriates people. <laughs> and if I hover over the anchor point, I can delete them or I can change their nature. So let's get some basic tutorials with the pen tool first. Let's say you want to make an oval with your pen tool. You click a point, you click another point and drag, and if you want it to be an exact kind of symmetrical curve, you would hold down shift and that will lock your bezier so that it extends the same amount on both sides. But if you don't hold down shift, you can make it a lopsided curve. Then you can connect again at the other side, hold down shift, and flush it out. So that's how you would use the pen tool to make a, a closed path that's curved. Now how do you make a, the pen tool do both straights and curves? So I've made a bunch of straights, now the next one I want to curve, so I loop it out. 
and then it will stay curved until I make it straights again. So let's practice on one of these shapes. Whoops. So I have to disconnect it, hold down Option, click somewhere else. Okay, start with the pen tool here, click on a place I want to curve there. Then I click on the anchor I just did because I want to straight now. And now the next line I put in will be straight. And now the next line I'm going to curve by dragging out. Now the next line, don't worry that it's, it's filling as I go. I just have to complete the arc and it will work. And then here. Oh, it can be so frustrating. And then up here. And then finally up there. Okay, so it looks like a mess right now. But what you can do with these Bezier curves is then alter them with the small selection tool. And kind of push and pull them in different ways until you get your shape. And the pin tool is the best way to control the exact number of anchors you have. And the exact placement of those anchors. It's the only way to really control them exactly. Now every time you place an anchor, you can also edit it and edit the, the line between them. So I'm using the small selection tool to play with my Bezier curves and tilt them and angle them until I get the shape I want on my sketch. And it's just another way of doing things. Now I have that straight line there because I, I changed it. Right? If I want to change it again, you go under your pen tool and you'll see all of these different options. And I can edit this anchor point to be straight if I want, or edit this one. And to go back, you do uh, Command Z. To you do Shift Command Z. You can't toggle back and forth unless you do Command Z and then um, Shift Command Z in Illustrator. So you can always see what gives you the best result. And so sometimes, especially if I want to perfectly control my curves, I'll use the uh, the pen tool like that. But then more often than not, I'll end up modifying it and cutting it out with the pencil tool because I'm and the smooth tool because I'm not as concerned with how many anchors I have I'm more concerned with getting the shape I want but if you want kind of really really efficient design you have to use the pen tool a little bit to get there and I do like what it did with that curve see very few anchor points there. And sometimes it can be hard to get the, the pencil tool to simplify as much as you want. Now if you double click on the pencil tool, you'll get these options for it. And these options, you can say whether you want it to be more accurate to what you draw or more smooth. And sometimes, especially on a logo, I want it to be quite smooth within about six pixels. And I don't want it to fill new pencil strokes. So that way, when I edit, even if my hand is a little wobbly, 
it will automatically kind of smooth it out for me. Which is nice. So it's not plotting a ton of extra anchor points. Now to become a master of the pen tool, it's good to try some complicated shapes and see the best way to get there. If they're hard edge shapes, they're easy. But when they're combinations of curves and hard edge shapes, like a key, the shape of a key is a really good thing to practice on, then they're a lot trickier. So that was done, this was done all with the pencil tool, this was done all with the pen tool and then um, fixed on this side with the pencil tool. There's still some areas I can work with. For instance, I can use the pen tool to delete that anchor. And play with this curve instead of trying to keep on redrawing it. I want to delete that one too. And remember holding down command or uh, control if you're on a PC will bring you back to the selection tool. And as you finish your complicated shapes, you want to save it as you go. Okay, now, so this line here, I'm actually going to create with the pen tool. Because to do it as one clean stroke, I don't think would actually happen with the pencil. But if I just click there and then click here and then bend out the curve, I can get it to be perfectly smooth with just two anchor points. Then I go down. And I hold down option. I can convert that anchor point. Oh, don't want to convert it on both sides. <coughs> or hold down command. I can push in one of the handles so that it changes from being a curve to a straight. And I can continue the shape, and then I can continue the shape. And at any time, I can hold down Command, change it to the, the small selection tool to alter it a little bit, fix my curves. adjust it. Some people love Illustrator for this capability. Most people are just annoyed with it for this capability. It can be frustrating, but it's the way we have control. Oops. You do have to be very exact with how you click things in Illustrator. And that also can be very frustrating. Now remember, if you don't close a path that you create with the pen tool, it will close it automatically for you, or it will fill it, rather.